Hello guys and welcome back. Let's submit the form again and let's see what all values can be useful to us. So in this video, we are going to see how we can exactly submit or we can disable the submit button if the form is not valid. So we have the property named valid and then we also have something called invalid that we have here. So we can use this property on the ng form. So if I go back to my template here, there is a property that can be binded named disabled. And the value of this is going to be the form object that I can have access to using the user form template variable right here. So I'll go back at the bottom. And on this uh, form object, I have something called an invalid field right here. So I'll just copy this one and paste it here. So now this should be disabled when the form is invalid. So if I save this and go back, the form can still be submitted. And the reason for this is because the form invalid state is false and the valid state is true in this case. So how exactly can we check whether uh, this will get uh, disabled or not? Well, let's start with our first validation and the validation that I'm going to use is required. And this is the built in HTML5 input validation. So if I save this now, then I should see that the button is disabled now. All right. So this is how you can add form validations to your form and uh, disable a button when the form is invalid. Now in the next video, we'll be talking about some other validations that you can uh, apply to your form. Let's uh, quickly add a value and click on submit. And if I go to, let's say this here in the errors section, it's null right now. And uh, the invalid state is false and the valid state is true again. So let's first talk about uh, the other validation errors or the other validations that we can add in template driven forms in the next video. And then we'll have a look at some other features of template driven forms as well.